Hey guys, if you didn't know it's Thanksgiving weekend, what better time than to get your family together and go to livestream.ymhstudios.com and enjoy YMH Live 7 with your whole family and eat some turkey with the heavy segment. Hey Jeans, big announcement. I'm doing another show at Credit Union One Arena. This one's on April 16th, my birthday. I'm having a big, huge comedy bash. You can get tickets starting today, Wednesday, starting at 10 a.m. local time. Use the code word everywhere for access. The general on sale is Friday. It's going to be a wild night. Go to tomsegur.com slash tour for tickets. And we do know that Austin is a U.S. for the airport code. A lot of people are like, it's not ATX. I'm like, yeah, I know. We fly into it every week. Wait, what's the airport code for AUS. Us? That's our airport code. It is? Yes. <laughs> I knew that. I just so knew that. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. Man, it is that season where you have to think about what gifts to buy people. And it can be a really tricky, tricky time because you never know what to buy. And you don't want to give lame things to people you love. But luckily, I'm a huge fan of Stance, S-T-A-N-C-E. That's the name of the brand. They make these bomb ass socks. And I know it sounds silly. Like, what are you talking about? Socks are just socks. No, they're not. I am such a fan of these Stance socks. I love the designs. I love how soft they are. They're cotton, they're soft. Um, they're just a fantastic gift. Um, and here's some collaborations they've done. They've done Harry Potter, Batman, The Goonies, Star Wars, The Office, Wu-Tang Clan, Jill Perkins, Disney, Barbie, Marvel, Bob Marley, Major League Baseball, NBA, Pixar, which is great for anybody in your life that's a fan of those things. Um, this is a, really just the perfect gift. Stance has the perfect gift for every punk and poet on your list, go see for yourself. It's easy. Just head on over to stance.com and pick out some styles you think they might like. Enjoy the color and comfort of a life less ordinary with Stance. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Uh, gaping dad made that gaping dad yeah who can forget and and very iconic vocal fries in there yeah. your boy steven seagal 
Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you don't hear vocal fry as much as you it's, used to. It was more popular a few years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like everybody talk like that. They credited the Kardashians with making that popular. What I a believe cool it. cool thing to make it, popular. <laughs> yeah. You know what I was doing the other day? Um, I was going down a Kylie Jenner rabbit hole mm-hmm. and I was like, I just Googled her old face and her old appearance and her new face. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I wonder what she had done. Because she was a regular looking person. Kylie um, Jenner? Mm-hmm. Kylie, oh. she's as the cosmetics. Oh, and, right. Yes. It's dramatic. They're all dramatically different looking. All of them. But I think Kylie really went through the most transformation. She's very young too, right? Very young. She was like 17 or 18 when they, they got her under the knife and they gave her boobs. They gave her butt. They're saying fit lip, a lot of lip filler. That family's all about the lip filler. Yeah. A nose job. Because her face was, she was just a regular girl. Yeah. And now she's Kardashified. Mm-hmm. Really amazing. Look at her before and after. It's it's very drastic. Oof. Yeah. That first one. Yeah, she just took a regular girl. Oh, I know what it was on Instagram. It was like, it, you know, something like, if you feel like you're just a regular person, you just don't have money. <laughs> you like, you can just buy your face, which but she's gorgeous. She looks good. She does look good. Yeah. Wow. Is she the one? Dramatic, drastic change. Is, who's Who does she date? Do you know? Me? No. Oh. I, I'm, like, I don't know. If it's Those guys? guys Travis the, Scott. Yeah. Yeah. He might be going to motherfucking jail. No. uh What did he do? You didn't follow that story? Mm-hmm. Astrofest? Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. Some people got hurt. The eight people died. <sighs> and apparently... He, um, I mean, the accusation is that like he sees people like being trampled and just is like, whatever, kept performing, doesn't stop his performance, doesn't like have people back out. I mean, 23 people were hospitalized, I think. Oh my it, was, gosh. it was a disaster. And he has a history of like, uh, of not really giving a fuck what happens at his, uh, shows, like people getting hurt. So, what's the charge that he, did he incite the violence or he just sat by and like he, eating so he, bedding? He, it's just it? like a ill-prepared um, venues. Low security. And, yeah, or just limit, like not enough. And uh, people were, like I said, like rushing the stage, being trampled and they were like screaming and he's standing there looking at them and just keeps doing his show. Yikes. And because I think of his history of this kind of happening, I mean, I don't know, but... You know, it's his festival, so you you just don't know what could what could end up happening. Damn. But they're saying that like he might be charged with something. Well, he's know? a young dude, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how old he is, but he's definitely goodness gracious. I I I mean, shit. I see someone just like a drunk person fall down during my oh, yeah. show, and I'm like, is this person okay? Oh, I've he, stopped shows. Yeah, yeah. so have I. Yeah, and that's goodness. like in a controlled. <laughs> yeah. Atmosphere. I don't know, man. It it sounded like really terrifying. Mm. You know, people just being trampled to death. Like, That's terrible. Yeah. That's some scary stuff, Tom. Yeah. I don't like that at all. That's why I don't go to the concerts anymore. That was strange. <laughs> well, you know what I actually, you know what I actually, because I just had a flashback to being um, a teenager and seeing Skinny Puppy. Uh-huh. And like, I stupidly got into the mosh pit of a skinny you puppy did? show as a teen. I was a very aggressive punker. Uh-huh. Yeah, these guys. <sighs> yeah. And it was so terrifying to be in the mosh pit as a girl. It was it was tiny. I shouldn't have been in there. And someone, a friend of mine pulled me out and it was really scary. And then I started to think that I, I would never go to a festival now. No. Because I'm, you know, middle-aged and I don't want people touching me yeah. and sweating on me and get trampling me. Never, this was a never, great never. band, by I the way. I would never go to this. I would never go to a show... <laughs> I would go to certain concerts, but like not like a hardcore show at all. Never. No, Skinny Puppies is is pretty hardcore. And Ministry, I saw them, and that I, was terrifying. Yeah, I wouldn't go to any type of show like that. I also like, you know, I, sporting events. Like I like sports. Yeah. Like I went to that Austin FC game, mm-hmm. which is the the soccer game. Mm-hmm. That was awesome. But it was like, you know, nice facility. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Even the, and there was a lot of fucking intense uh, excitement there, 
but I never felt like, oh shit, like I've gone to NFL games where I'm like, Jesus Christ, these fucking animals, you know, like I just, people are spilling beers on you. Not that that can't happen at a <laughs> soccer game. It can obviously, but there's just environments that I don't want to be in anymore. Yeah. Know? Too aggressive. That's yeah. why I went, oh, that's not fun anymore. I think yeah. I used to enjoy the excitement of possibly getting murdered or killed or trampled at a show. And now I'm like, I don't know. I got to raise these and children. Like convenience. But it's yeah. like, I asked my dad. <laughs> Time's like, so your dad now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got invited to, so usually it's every Thanksgiving week. We're on so Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. TG. Don't forget, go to livestream.ymastudios.com and you can still see YMH Live 7, which is uh, for your family for Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs> um, but anyway. Mm. Every week, uh, usually it's uh, this week. Yeah, where Florida, Florida State plays your favorite team, Florida State, it. the Semen Holes, and it's always like. And if you're if you live in Florida and you know you have some yeah. allegiance, or whatever, it's always just like. And it's it's a obviously it's a family weekend. It's Thanksgiving weekend, so I got invited to go a few years ago. And this is you know going back to high school days for me, where like that game was like a huge game. Like right. it had it had national championship implications every year. Like if you lost that you know, game, you probably, probably won't be playing for the title. Um, this is when both teams were, were, were really good. But anyway, it always brings out, you know, Crazy. excitement and emotions. And uh, I got invited to go and <laughs> I go, dad, do you want to go see Florida, Florida State? Like at, <laughs> I think it was in Gainesville. And he was like, ah, yeah. where, where are we going to park? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i was like yeah. no i hear you that's the problem. because i'm thinking that way too man yeah i go i got hooked up because it was like like to, into a, into a suite and sure I, and he's like how close can we park though and i was like all right like we got a suite like i'm sure there's mm -hmm. decent parking for for that and he was like ah. <laughs> and i go well here's the thing I'll I'll make sure the parking's great, but we're gonna stay for the whole game. And he was like, "What?" <laughs> because he would do this thing. He's so annoying to go to a game with, where he would be like, "It's fourth quarter," and he'd be like, "Let's go." And you're like, "It's fucking tied up yeah. with with seven minutes left." Yeah, we got to get to the car though. The crowds. I'm like, um, this is why everyone's here right now. Those last few minutes, who seconds. Who wins the game? He's yeah. like, and you just see him, and he's like, oh. uh, yeah. let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go. And you're like, <laughs> you're taking me away at the, this is like leaving a movie yeah. in the, the last, last 10 minutes when yeah. they go, here's who saw, who's, here's the killer. And then you're yeah. like, we got to go. Yeah. There's going to be traffic on the way home. That's what it's like to go. But can I tell so you, I, I, like, I relate 100% because when you and I would go to Laker games in LA, yeah. I got so much anxiety about everybody yeah. leaving the venue at one time and how am I going to find the Uber? If it's and, not a good game, uh, I get it. If you see, if you're at a Laker game and there's a, whatever, a 20 point difference in the fourth quarter, like between the two teams, you're like, all right, it's clear who's going to win this game. But if it's like a back and forth a nail burn, biter, yeah. You're going to leave during that part? I mean, my anxiety crazy. tells me to leave. Yeah. But then here but here's what you can do too. Yeah. You can stay longer and hang out until the crowd files out. You can. And then you can Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can also just wait 15 minutes when everybody's gone and then that anxiety You absolutely is gone. can. Oh but God. you don't think that way when your brain is in I know. Crazy that survival. Guy, I'm telling you. I mean, <laughs> he would take me to NFL games when we lived in the cities with NFL teams and it was every time he's like let's go and he's like it's fucking there's 12 minutes left in the game man yeah they're gonna win we should just go like, oh, oh my gosh yeah. but I tell you know I've ditched entire plans because of no parking yeah parking I went to, sucks yeah I went to go see a, I wanted to see an IMAX movie with the kids yeah and I didn't realize Austin was playing their football game yeah what's the name of the team this, the Longhorns the Longhorns yeah and <laughs> I mean, there was no parking, and I drove around. Is that really the name of the team? Yeah, the Texas Longhorns. Shit. Yeah. University of Texas Longhorns. Yeah. It's a college team. Okay. Yeah. And so I see all these people walking. I go, oh, forget about it. And I was like, sorry, kids. We're not seeing the movie today. <laughs> sorry. No I ain't looking. I'm not going to do it. You. I'm with you. And they were so mad at me. I'm like, we'll just go to the shitty mall. That's and something see the that mall when, you're like, yeah. when you're 22, you're like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'll walk fucking 15 blocks. Yeah. yeah. And we did. Remember, yeah. you're like, I got to go to the thing. God, I remember doing the dumbest shit. 
Like, oh my God, I would go to see like Nine Inch Nails. I took a train across to fucking, what is it, San Jose or wherever. And then you got to take the bus and then get to the thing. And there was no cell phones or Uber back then. No. And I was like, I got to go see Nine Inch Nails play. Like, yeah. ugh, I would yeah. never. Never. If it's not convenient, I ain't doing it. That's the name of the game. All right, opening clip. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, my pants. Uh, I had diarrhea <laughs> all morning. The <laughs> caca all over the place, <laughs> all over the toilet. And I missed the toilet seat. They went caca all over the floor. Caca on my pants. <laughs> Oh, my butt hurts. This shit is big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother to this. <laughs> your mom in the fucking stand. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. What's up, dog? I like this video for a lot of reasons. I like diarrhea updates. You know me. There's a kid next to him. That's and pretty he's cool. Still like I had <laughs> diarrhea all morning. Who's who's the video intended for? Is it just for the world to know, or is it for a specific person? Yeah, it's really it's interesting. And the the it, must, it seems like a grandkid, maybe. Uh, clearly, it's yeah. not his five year old son. Could be. Do you think he has he produces good sperm like Vincent Gallo? He I don't could, think so. He could be in that Leonardo DiCaprio camp <laughs> where he's just banging young chicks, you know? Um no? no. No, you don't think so? No. I see him and Leo having a lot of similarities. <laughs> there's part two, ready? Oh, there's oh, more. I got a ratch. <laughs> Too much caca coming now. It's like chocolate milkshake. A milkshake? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I try to drink some water. I can't. I drink a half a cup and boom, I blew up <laughs> in two seconds. Oh, my panza. Oh, my diarrhea again. I got to take <laughs> off. Bye-bye. I call you. Talk to you later. Oh, <laughs> is that FaceTime? Uh, sure doesn't seem like it, does it? Well, where did he post this? I don't know. <laughs> where was it posted? Maybe he's like, you know how like <laughs> some people don't realize that TikTok is public? Yeah. Maybe yeah. he thought a FaceTime is like you record yourself and then you send it to somebody. <laughs> and then you send it to and YouTube. You send it and you're like, here you go. Here's the message. And then I'll FaceTime you back. Like, no, no, no. It's actually a phone call. This is clearly a video. Oh. Uh, uh, he says a milkshake. A milkshake. Ponsa. What language is Ponsa, his mm. asshole? The caca all over the place. Uh. Mi Ponsa. Oh, my Ponsa. Is it Spanish? Ponsa. I mean, Ponsa, I always thought was like a belly, you know? Oh. But maybe he is saying that. Ponsa. My belly. Oh, you mi know? Ponsa. Yeah. Yeah. Mi Ponson is fatso, right? Don't know. Ponson. Not pants. What? <sighs> Just type in panza. No, panza. I'm just trying to help. How do you say retarded in Spanish? Retardo. <sighs> See. In Hungarian, it's jepish. Yeah, jepish. In the dub is jepish. Yeah. I'm um, what? Huh? You fucking, fucking retard. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Look up retard in other languages. <laughs> Look up retard in German. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ver Verzogern. No, Viz Verzogern. Hey, play the uh, the sound there. Verzogern, yeah. Verzogern. <sighs> you can't play the sound. Verzogern. Okay. Hmm. 
Vesugern. Gern. Yeah. All right, yes. something on our end. Gern. Something there. Yeah, there is some, he can't play the sound for retarded. Yeah. Retard. <laughs> oh, well. <sighs> Can you please just play it? <laughs> Don't be retarded. <laughs> oh, I got it, guys. Okay. Verzögern. Oh, Verzögern. Oh. Yeah. Verzögern. Yeah. That's good. Yep. Huh. Oh, yepish. I know what it is. Mentally retarded. Let's see what it says. Maybe it's a new word. My parents just said yepish. Like Down syndrome, but maybe there's a. Let's see. <laughs> Mentally retarded. <laughs> no, the Hungarian one. Uh, I don't see the. Uh, oh, yeah. Translation. No. Mentally retarded. No. <laughs> oh, here we go. Irtemi fogyatékos. Irtem fogyatékos. That's it's meaning re- not underst- mental. Irtem is understand. Yeah. yeah. Are then- you retarded? <laughs> What about in Peruvian? The Spanish. That's Spanish, dude. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> Ta-da. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he is. Yeah. Remember the airport code discussion? Oh yeah, guys, I got answers on what the X stands for. Oh my for. god, that was like a month ago. Yeah, what was it? Yeah. What'd you get? It so si- there's some cities <laughs> <laughs> that are only two letters. Okay. And so, for the airport, for a city that only has two letters, they're like, oh, well, it's only two letters, but it needs three letters. Let's just put an X where the extra blank is. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Is that true? Yes. Does that sound logical to you? It is the It is. It's got to be a three-letter code. It has to be. Yeah. All airport codes became three-letter codes. Okay. Yeah. So, those that needed a letter were just given the X. That's the explanation for wow. Irtami fogyatékos. And we do know that Austin is a US for the airport code. A lot of people are like, it's not ATX. We're like, yeah, I know. We fly into it every week. Wait, what's the airport code for? AUS. Austin? That's our airport code. It is? Yes. <laughs> what? I knew that. I just so knew that. You thought it was. <laughs> I thought it was ATX. I didn't pay attention this oh. whole time. ATX is just what they people call Austin. Right. But not now it makes code. no sense to me. I thought ATX was the airport code this whole time. No, it's it makes sense that you could think that. I'm saying. Yeah. Like you, you see it. You know, every time you. Yeah, I'm retarded. Can I tell you something that I had a Pajitsky effect tell about? Me. Did you know that, okay, I love stuffing. That's my favorite Thanksgiving item. Okay. I love stuffing. And I like the crappy kind out of the box, mm-hmm. the Stouffer shit. You can eat stuffing any time of the year. I know. It fucking, I know. I know. You don't have to wait for Thanksgiving. And you also, I mean, my thing has always been you don't have to eat what someone tells you to eat on Thanksgiving. <laughs> that, that was We've, my big, yeah. like, well, we've done it? that. I know. But epiphany I, I, or epiphany. Pajitsky effect. Yeah. Uh, I think beginning in 2012, I think that's the first year that I did it where I bought steaks and lobster. And no, I was, I was like, oh. we did it. I was with you, remember? Yeah, it was more you always thing. say, I do it. Yeah, I, I do have it. kids. No, we have kids. Well, I have them too. Yeah, but we, we together have a life, you know? We make Thanksgiving. I, I got my stuff. I have two children. <laughs> <laughs> we had steak. I cooked steaks. So what are we going to do for this TG? Do you want to do tradish? <sighs> I hate turkey. It is a dry pussy meat. It's gross. It's I, don't, I don't even good. like good turkey. People, you got to try my like, turkey. I've had that turkey. I've had, I've had your deep fried turkey. Don't tell me. Have you had a turducken? Yeah, I've had it all. I don't like it dry. I just prefer a ribeye. I don't know why it's so crazy. You know what I like? Mm. Honey baked ham. I fucking hate ham. You do. Even the honey baked with the glaze on it? Hate. Uh, okay. The way Google hates Nadav is how much <laughs> I hate fucking ham. I don't like it. So what are you going to have for I want to have a steak. And we're going to see family. Yeah. And um, The pressure's going to be on for us to have a traditional TG. You know what I'm going to do if they don't give me a steak? What? Walk out. 
make it like really dramatic. Yeah. And take Flip the kids. The table. I'll, wow. be like the, I'll be like, the kids are leaving. If you didn't, you don't fucking respect that we want steak. Yeah. And just leave. Yeah. That's a nice memory to make for your kids <laughs> and for your family. What a great way to break the cycle of generational trauma. And fuck you and fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck your turkey. Remember when I made Thanksgiving I'd be dinner? Like, Did I say I want a turkey? And then flip over. Yeah. yeah I fucking hate this dry pussy meat. Yeah. Remember when I made Thanksgiving dinner in Silver Lake and then. Um, <laughs> what? I think I know. I think Do you I... remember this cool Is thing? Is this when your dad came over? Late. How really late? late? Very late. Well Hours after dinner time. Hours after dinner. We had, actually, we had guests come over. Maria, Matt Fulshram, was yeah, it that year? Yeah, that's right. And then he was invited, and he was like, yeah, I'm coming over. But mm -hmm. then we were like, I guess we should start. And then <laughs> dinner was over. And then a few hours after that. So this is probably dinner's, six hours or seven done. hours after you had <laughs> said to come over. Uh, he brought over a, a woman he was seeing. Right. Um, she was... Asian? Maybe Colombian that year? Nope. Noah's Asian lady? Yeah. Wait, but actually don't from China. She was Chinese. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And had like she was nice, but she was she, very she's nice. She's like, well, I don't I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. This isn't my holiday. Wait, but don't forget what he contributed to the Thanksgiving s splendor. Uh his own six pack. Yeah, he brought a six pack, yeah. To drink. His, his. Yeah. Not for everybody. Yeah. Just his six pack. And he hung out a little bit and he was like, All right. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. I'm like, do you want to eat dinner? Like there's leftover. No, nah, I don't like Thanksgiving dinner. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm going to eat it. Yeah. I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. I think my father always hated the holidays and he felt it was imposed upon him. Um, so I get it, you know. It was pretty cool. That was a that pretty was cool. cool. That pretty was, cool guy. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> yeah. We are supported by Squarespace. I love Squarespace. I've used Squarespace many, many times to build websites in the past. I was what was known as an early adapter. I loved Squarespace. I love the idea that somebody with no experience in coding or, or really, I didn't have any experience in building websites that I could do it myself. It was very liberating. I like their designs. They're very clean, very intuitive. Um, they have designs for anything that you can think of, whether it's a, a physical, on, like a physical shop, maybe you have a, a bakery or you sell flowers, maybe you just want to create a website to share photographs with your family, do it all. There's 24-7 award-winning customer support. Again, those templates are so clean. Um, you can buy your domain there, you customize the look and the feel, everything's optimized for mobile. It is a win-win. Head to squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. I love Quip. It's so simple. They send you the toothpaste. They send you the brush. They send you everything. So there's no excuse. And by the way, did you know you're supposed to change your toothbrush? Uh, at least every month I do, especially after an illness. You better do it after a cold or something. The Quip electric toothbrush is loved by over 7 million mouths and has timed sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. It's got a lightweight, sleek design and it you can track and improve your brushing with a free Quip app. You can get the toothpaste sent to you. They have mint or watermelon. I'm a huge fan of the mint. And they have floss string that expands to clean, uh, reusable floss pick and yeah, everything. Here's what you're gonna do. If you go to getquip.com slash mom right now, you'll get your first refill free. That's your first refill free at getquip.com slash mom, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash mom. Quip, the good habits company. Yeah, I'm trying to think of other Thanksgivings. My mother would refuse to cook um, American Thanksgiving. So she would make like Hungarian sausages, Polish sausages, mm -hmm. chicken paprikash, stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, why can't you just be normal? Like, just make make the stuff. Make the stuffing, dude. It's a box. Yeah. It's not hard. Once you learn how to do the dinner one time, you, you do it again. You can buy all that shit instant at the grocery store. Yeah. Instant gravy, instant box <laughs> shit, instant mashies. Yeah. I never really fucking... Macaroni and cheese. You can't make fucking mac and cheese. 
the the sweet potatoes with the marshmallows. That's a good one. That's sweet potato one. casserole. That's a jam. That's a jam for me. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get down with that. Yeah, because it always felt like you were having dessert, right? Like, and it is. The yeah. kids love it. Yeah, I made it last year. Pecan. I love pecan. Pecan pie. pie. I love my. I, those I those are popular on year. Thanksgiving. I like those. Remember last year I had, uh, we all had COVID um, on Christmas and I made fucking Christmas dinner sick with COVID. Yeah. Remember that shit? I was like, I'm not letting this pandemic. Can I tell you the truth? I don't remember that. You don't remember? No, I was. Um, oh, you were banished. Yeah. No, no, no. You were upstairs. Yeah, but then. I don't remember. Yeah. Yeah. No, I did though. I made Christmas dinner and I said, fuck you, COVID. One week from today, if you're watching this, is the anniversary of my injury. You're kid. What a yeah. we need to have a special episode for that. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. We walk down memory lane. It's a fun time. <laughs> yeah. That's been a year already. December first. Yeah. That was the day. That was a bad day. I got a bad bite that day, kid. Definitely got a bad bite. I'll never forget getting that phone call. Yeah. I had just put the babies down. Yeah. And Bert. <laughs> I yeah. was going to take a pish. Bert called me. And he goes, push, don't be, don't. no, you call me first, right? I thought I texted you first. Or did I call you? No, you call me. I called no. you from, I, if I called you, it was from the, from the, from ambulance. the ambulance. And you go, don't worry, don't worry. I just, um, I'm in an ambulance. I'm going to the emergency room. I just had an accident. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I just broke my, uh, my arm and my leg. And I was like, what? Yeah, you were like. What? <laughs> I'm yeah. like, what? It was a horrible 24 hours. I know. I'm in a horrible. M- I want to laugh. Month after. That's how I felt. It was probably the worst month of my, our lives. I would say. It was pretty terrible. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> Merry Christmas. Hey, but you know something? What? Here's my vow to you, Peggy Sue. This Thanksgiving, this Christmas, we're gonna be fucking stellar. Yeah. Yeah. Cause no last, sports. We're not gonna play any sports. We're not gonna play any sports. Right. No dunking. Um, it's gonna be fucking awesome and joy. And we're not going to let anything ruin it. Yeah. Like last year was, we had COVID on Christmas Eve last year. It sucked. Yeah. And I still made dinner and we fucking opened gifts and we were good parents. Mm-hmm. And we told those kids, this is because of fucking Jesus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's because of Jesus? The presence? Yeah. You know who Jesus is? Do you love him? Um, you love Jesus? Did I you told have, uh, yeah. something about, so, I don't know, Ella said God, did I tell you this? I go, well, who's God? He goes, who's God? I go, yeah. He goes, he controls the weather, dude. <laughs> dude. Like, That's good. I don't know where he heard that, I but I, I like that. That works. Yeah, he's like, he controls the weather, dude. That kid, man. Yeah. So we got a stuffed iguana from uh, somewhere we were visiting, like a toy iguana puppet. Mm-hmm. And um, and I go, what, what are we going to name the iguana? Yeah. And he goes, what about Trap Remix? <laughs> And I was like, that's the fucking illest name I have ever heard in my life, dude. Yeah. Trap Remix. Yeah. For an iguana. And then, he and named, then, there we found a turtle shell. Mm-hmm, by Not the a garage. turtle, like in a, like in a band, like just a shell. It was a dead turtle that had been there for a long time. Right. And so the decomposed. body decomposed, but then there's just a shell. So we put it in some water and, like, cl- and some bleach. Yeah. Cleaned it up. And then you're like, what are we going to name the, uh, this turtle shell? And he was like, Pixel. It's dope. It's a good name. Trap Remix and Pixel. That's our new band, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You're Trap Remix and I'll be Pixel. I'm the hype man. It brought me back to, uh, the, remember the last episode we were talking about that movie Old that M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong made? Mm-hmm. He, um, uh, he has a rapper character in that movie. Yeah. That is named Midsize Sedan. <laughs> which is funny. It's right. a funny name for a rapper, but it doesn't, go with the movie at all like it didn't fit it feels like the name of a character in like a sandler movie for sure it would have been and great so there. in the movie it's like the tone everything and they're like the kid's like that's mid-sized sedan Stupid. and then when they ask him his name he's like a mid-sized sedan and it's at like the height of tension and it felt like uh it, i don't know it, t- it totally took me out i'm like why are you giving him this funny name in this film you know, I agree. It was it was completely not the time for humor. Yeah, it was. The, there's no laughs, no ha ha's yeah. at all in that movie. Not funny. No, 
And then he, and the name is funny. It's a funny name, yeah. yeah. But he's also a very serious looking guy. His yeah. demeanor, he's like mid sized yeah. sedan. Like you would not choose that rap name now. No. Pixel, yeah. If he was like I'm Pixel, yeah, I'd be like that's kind of tight. Or I'm Trap Remix, yeah. I would have believed that too. That's your fucking name. I know. It was like he couldn't resist. You ever get like he couldn't resist being funny? I know. In the opportunity, it's like saying something at a dinner that like is not appropriate. You yeah. Know, like, like that is funny. You're like, it was funny. You're like, yeah, but you don't say it there, bro. Oh, I do that's, that a lot. Well, everyone does. I'm yeah. saying every comedian does. My saying, my point is like, that's what he did with that character in that movie. <laughs> like, he should have just given him a more banal, you know, like, like not excited. Yeah, yeah. Like a real rapper name. Like, like yeah. Because every time you're like, why are you giving him this funny Mid-size name? Mid-sized sedan. Yeah. Stupid. Nothing's funny in that movie. No. You're still upset about old. No, it's that character. It's, it's just the character name. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. But it's stuck in your craw. You thought about it. I did. Yeah. yeah. How often do I embarrass you by saying things out of out of turn? It's like I mean, it's not every week. No. But you I mean it's every season. <laughs> you say something wrong like this is not when you would say that you should season. Say this. Yeah. What's a like a quarter? When yeah. is a quarter? Yeah, I would say four times a year. I'm like, why you don't say that? And you're like, I don't know. You you've taught me how to be around people. You're like I found you in the fucking Amazon. You did, but that's the thing too. Is I also feel as though, as a comedian, I I'm exempt from a lot of societal rules. Look at me right now. I'm wearing a Mr. T shirt. I have a Ela Klein's hat on. Everybody can do this. Not at their jobs. This is my job, bro, to wear a Mr. T shirt and a cool jacket and talk about diarrhea. That's my job. <laughs> that, that image is still up. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, and you know what else I do? Yeah. Every email that I send, whether it be to our children's yeah. teachers, school, medical professionals, mm-hmm. anything, says sent from your mom's house. That's pretty cool too. That's pretty fun. That's fun. But don't you feel like it's, I can be a little more fun? Yeah, that's I'm fun. A com- I'm a comic. You know, uh, you, need, you need to have fun being a comedian. I think that's really what I'm trying to say. You're, you're right. You're right. Where's your glove? <laughs> two gloves. Shit. Uh, Why two? Let's look at something funny. Uh, you want to watch a funny clip? I'm not strong enough to do this. Can you help uh, you? Uh, yeah, actually. Jesus. Jeez. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're so strong. Is that your That was strange. Good hand. Thanks. Okay. Ready? Him. I love you. <laughs> Oh shit! Fuck! Oh shit! Crashed into her blood! This is fuck! Oh my god! Bro! Bro! They just fucked the feds, just crashed into the other feds' blood! Blood. I liked his accent more than did anything else. See what else. happened? I did, but I was too taken by his accent. Yeah. Blood, fam. Do you know what they titled this this clip? Mm. Cop gets the Asian garage treatment. <laughs> That's accurate. Yeah. Good job. Oh, I don't like it. Oh shit! Fuck. He fucking Fuck. smashed another officer with a police. He's a he's a cop into another car insanity i wonder how often that happens i mean i I don't think that often i'd be so pissed if someone fucking did that to me uh yeah she is she's like what the fuck here's a good question for you Mm -hmm. what's more upsetting having an accident that you're responsible for like you're doing the the basketball challenge or me falling down the stairs because i'm fucking tired or having someone else fuck you up What's more upsetting? Like, what's more upsetting? The self-flagellation or fucking hating somebody else for messing you up? Mm, I think you'd be more upset at somebody else. Right? Yeah. Well, like, you're, you know, the stairs, like, uh, are you really that? How, how oh, mad can you get? Oh, I beat your... myself up. The minute after it happened and I was there and I was like, babe, help me up. My, I've slipped on my ankle. And you're like, oh, no, that's broken. And I looked down and I saw it dislocated. I could have fucking... I yeah, I was, too. I was upset too. I was upset too. But I mean, a dummy. 
if if it had been because of somebody else's negligence or something, <laughs> you'd be more upset. Some, I think like, I would be that someone yeah. just did that to me and I'm yeah. just standing there doing nothing and then oh I'd be so be more, pissed. Yeah. It would eat me alive. The revenge. Like I would want to fucking run over that dumb person's foot so hard. Yeah. You should be allowed to, don't you think? If somebody fucks you up like this, you should be allowed to take your car and do the same thing to them. Yeah. Right? I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I think in England that's how their legal system works. It's um well because not how the English system works. Yes, it is. I studied the law there. What happens is because their their laws were made during the medieval period, and so they still allow you to get revenge. So that's what you do: an eye for an eye, revenge, mate. Not true. Yeah, absolutely. You didn't know that. Okay, what does it say? I was looking up Hammurabi's code. I thought that was the eye for an eye guy. Is it? it? Looks like I might be wrong. I've not heard of that. What are the two? Lo- There's a drop down there. What does that say? If anyone ensnare another, putting a ban upon him, but he cannot prove it, then he that ensnared him shall. What? Yeah, I think I'm way off. Way off. It's not Hanna Barbera code. What? That's just in the Bible. The B I B L E. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. I'm just look, reading what was put up on the screen. I know, but I'm, I'm chastising him, not oh. you. Just Google an eye for an eye. Why would you Google hum, Hanna Barbera's code? God damn it. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, it is. Well, you were right. I guess someone isn't a... Uh... Wow. Yeah, we get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's literally mentally retarded, not just retard. <laughs> he's so pleased with himself that he got it right for once. That was the first time he's ever done that. Yeah. Oh, man. But I would be obsessed with getting revenge. You know what really would bum me out is if like a drunk driver fucked with me. Well, yeah. I would be so mad. You should be allowed to exact your revenge on a drunk driver. Of course. Fucking assholes. That actually is not a bad idea if they allowed that. They should. Well, yeah. there's no reason to drive drunk anymore with like Uber and Lyft and and those cool um, motorized scoot scoots yeah. that people use downtown. Well, I got a DUI, baby. Baby. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, it's true. Um, what do I want to play for you? There's something I had lined up. Oh, homeboy. If we never really get to see anything but kind of aggression from Fed Smoker Clips. Mm. And this is him actually like having a nice conversation, flirting even. I like when he gets horny. Yeah, yeah. But this is like not just, because sometimes he gets horny and it's like (laughs) pretty charged up sexual energy. Sometimes he's just like flirting. He's a flirty, flirty. Do you know where the district attorney's office is? Yeah, it's just downstairs. Okay. Yeah, and there's a lady sitting there behind the window. Yeah. And that's who you need to talk you have beautiful hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yeah, uh, I'm just passing through town. I thought I would introduce myself because I drive such a crazy car. And my car gets targeted and everyone wants to kill me because I drive such a cool car. Oh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh. Can you, wait, can you imagine... Being like, I'm passing through town and I'd like to meet the district attorney to introduce myself just so they know who the fuck is in town right now. It's so bananas. Oh shit. You don't do that when you travel. And this actually is all I think about when I, when, like, when this clip plays is what Dr. Drew, uh, that thing always plays meth in my head. Meth goes too. It, cocaine runs from uniforms mm-hmm. and meth goes towards it. Towards the light. Yeah. yeah. And like this guy is passing through town. It was like, where's the district attorney's <laughs> office? <laughs> I got to go to ground zero. The yeah. guy that would sign off on arresting me. I yeah. want to go meet that guy it's and bananas. let him know not to target my car because it's a fucking crazy car. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but I like her reaction. She's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, she, know, she knows she's dealing with crazy right now. <laughs> Oh. This is just, this is a way of diffusing. There's different tactics here's to diffusing. The deal. You know? I can see that it started as flattery, and she was yeah. like, "Yeah, oh, that's nice." Yeah. And then he was like, "Man, when he talked, yeah. yeah." And then she's like, "Oh, yeah." Oh, huh. it huh. goes from. It just sucks him in like a camera. <laughs> they do something to it all the time. They hate yeah. my car. It's really, 
it's really quite a interesting life with everybody hating my car. But you ladies love my car. You know why? What is it? It's just a beautiful crown pick. All right. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's uh, got real good memories in it. Uh, are, you live out here? I live here. Uh -huh. That's great. Well, thank you. What's your name? Stephanie. I think you're wonderful, man. I'm so glad we're not in Texas. I seen Texas County out there and I thought, oh my God, what am I doing in Texas? <laughs> I got it. I mean, yeah, it is something. He uh, also, you forget, she's not acknowledging it, but she certainly sees that he's recording this mm. and he's turning the camera, but she doesn't look at it, which I think. <laughs> It's also a tactic where you're like, I know that I'm on camera right now, but I'm just not gonna, you know what I mean? Don't, don't exacerbate Yeah, yeah, the because crazy. looking at it to him, you you know when you're with someone that you look at it, that they'll be like, oh, you got a problem with this? Like, that's what he's gonna do next, so. She's been abused before. She knows how to handle well, it. Well, she's also, she's in the, you know, some type of legal field, so mm -hmm. she's, she's dealt with crazies. Oh, God, I hate it. God. I feel so, it's so, he's so awful to deal know. with. You're like, I want to. You, you want to tell him? You didn't vote. Come on, buddy. Might go talk to her because she, I mean, she's God, right behind you. You are her. just extremely beautiful. Thank you for being so beautiful. I'm uh, sorry I'm such a wreck today. I didn't ask you out on a date, but I'm sorry. I'm tore up from the road. Oh, yeah. Are you married? No. Good. There's hope. <laughs> Once I get rich from my movie I'm making, I'm going to come back and marry you. <laughs> I can pick you up in a purple limo well, with yeah. fire on it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. I'm done. I loved her. I loved her. That's nice to see that side of him. Yeah. He was making a, he was a filmmaker. We Did we know that about Well, there's certainly a lot of footage out there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's just a matter of piecing it together. Yeah. Because yeah. he did record his, when he would go into like county hall meetings or whatever, town hall meetings. He sure and did. And he would record those. And He recorded a lot of things. He records a lot. This is, yeah. So he had the intent of making a documentary at some point. I don't know what it was. But yeah. <laughs> huh. But he did say How he romantic. And he said, when I make my money, I'm going to come back in a purple limo with fire and I'm going to pick you up. Yeah. That's a nice thing to say to a lady. It sure is. She's being courted. She's being wooed. He liked her a lot. He liked her. Yeah. I, I, it's interesting because I wouldn't suspect that because she doesn't weigh under, what is it, 120 pounds? Right. She looked like a normal build woman. She was- She's pretty. Maybe in her 30s. Yeah. A brunette. And he didn't he like now scurvy bitches, blondes, uh. 120 pounds- He's, if you're over 120, he'll be a good sport and let you suck it, he said. Right. <laughs> That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are his words. His words, yeah. 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 Nice. Well, yeah. thanks for sharing this. It's always fun to bring him back into my, my mind. Made me think of this guy. Why you guys want to come on my channel and start stuff, calling me names, meth mouth? <gasps> oh, my God. Fuck these teeth. Put your hands up. <laughs> yeah wow why does math do that again it's like the saliva like grinding, grinding, all grinding them down. Uh, grind and them down do they pick up their faces and everything too yeah maybe it, it tears away at the enamel you know i think it, it causes it. your mouth to be so dry or something mm -hmm. and let's see let's look up meth mouth okay oh gosh okay okay uh, characterized by severe tooth decay and gum disease, which often causes teeth to break or fall out. Okay, well, well, why? The teeth of people addicted to methamphetamine are characterized by being black, stained, rotting, crumbling, and falling apart. The teeth cannot be salvaged, but why? It doesn't say why. Mm. It says the extensive tooth decay is likely caused by a combination of drug-induced psychological and physiological changes resulting in dry mouth and long periods of poor oral hygiene yeah they never it's not like when you're on meth you're like i got a floss today you know? <laughs> it also says lost yet. it also says meth is uh, insanely acidic oh, so you're right explain it yeah. wait wait you mean to tell me that when they're super tweaked and geeked out they're not like hold on <laughs> wait a second we can go there but i gotta brush 
And I gotta use <laughs> mouthwash. Yeah. I don't think that's the first thing on your mind. But that's really interesting. But why not other drug addicts? Like crack people? Do crack smokers crack have crack people? Bad, <laughs> bad teeth too? They, they, they a lot of times have poor dental hygiene as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen a crackhead? Yeah, they You're don't. You're never have... like, oh, you got nice teeth, man. You got a great smile. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a maintenance issue. I guess it is hard to remember. Your priorities shift <laughs> when you're into math and <laughs> well, like crack cocaine. Crack, yeah. Mm. Um, Mental... This is not drug related, but do you yeah. remember that we met a uh-huh. um, an older gentleman with a dog? I do, <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. We were out with the kids and um, we had had lunch somewhere and then we're walking and this guy has a cute little french bulldog which mm-hmm. I, I love frenchies mm-hmm. and so the kids are playing and really happy and he's just like talking to us and then at one point you go yeah we have a uh, a brussels mm-hmm. he's like oh what's that you show him a picture mm-hmm. and he's like oh that's really <laughs> cute and he goes what's your dog's name and you go bitsy <laughs> and he goes oh biffy <laughs> and you go no bitsy he's like biffy's a good name and we were like, it's yeah. Okay. It's funny because a lot of people don't hear Bitsy. Yeah, she's been called Bisky. I uh, a lot of times I, I hear people go, "Oh, Betsy, Betsy." Uh, that's uh, a logical. Logical. One. I'm like, no, no, Bitsy, and they're like, "What?" I'm like, like a bit, like bacon bit, Bitsy. Yeah, because she looks like a little bacon bit. Yeah, so we call her Bitsy. Yeah, yeah, but Bisky was my all time favorite. Yeah, and at actually a year ago yeah. is when this lady called our dog Bisky. Yeah, and Bisky stuck. Yeah, and even the three year old goes Bisky like yeah. we've trained. Yeah, but now the dog responds to Bisky, Bitsy, Captain Marcel, and fuckhead, and fuckhead. <laughs> yeah, and Captain R word. We also yeah. Call. yeah, and also the president of R words. Oh, president, president retard. Is yeah. Really cool. Yeah, <laughs> she's the sweetest, dumbest dog I've ever had. But she's really kind, sweet little girl. I she love is. But Biffy, super. I mean, how, the, the how yeah. do you think he even heard Biffy? And who names a dog Biffy and Bisky too? That's a dumb one. Bisky and Biffy. Uh, I don't even. I never even heard of such a stupid. It thing. just reminds me, honestly, of my uh, father. Yeah. Who misses says every Everything. fucking word. Yeah. Like, can you read or something? What's going on? Yeah, he but he's he's a native English speaker. Do you think his hearing is bad? No. I don't know what's going on. The guy that said Biffy, I think his hearing wasn't great. Did you go to the buffet? I'm the like, buffet, huh? yeah, yeah. The don't buffet. they have a buffet there? I'm like, a buffet. Yeah. He says a lot of stuff. Uh he can't you know what he cannot say it. I guess you could say this is not technically an Eng- English word, but he can't say concierge. What does he say? Concierge. Concierge. I'm like, what? Oh, <laughs> concierge. Yeah. I mean, he says that word a lot to me. Maybe he's thinking consigliere, like from the mafia movies or something, consigliere. He'll be like, where, um, where are you? I'm like, I'm in Chicago. Where are you staying? At the fucking, I don't know, the Hyatt or something, whatever. He's like, oh, you should ask the concierge if they have, I'm like, what? You mean the concierge? He's like, yeah. And a moment later, he'll be like, have you talked to the concierge yet? I'm like, the concierge? Yeah, he's so weird he's with like, that. Uh, he's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. And then the next week, what city? I'm in Toronto. Where are you? I'm here. He's like, um, if you ask the concierge, he could tell you where. I'm like, dad, the word is concierge. There's a, like, you don't, you don't see the G or what are you doing? There's a lot of words that he Tons doesn't Tons of do words. Properly. Joe Pesky. Joe Pesky was crazy. That now nuts. Joe Pesky was fucked up because everybody says Joe Pesci, Joe Pesci, everybody Joe Pesci. Does. You you never hear. I've never heard. Never that. heard Pesky. Where did you get this from? He's like Joe Pesky is a good actor. I'm like Joe Pesky. Joe Pesky, because I've seen, I've heard Joe Pesci more than I've heard Joe Pes than read read his name. You know what I'm saying? Like I've yeah. heard the name Pesci, 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 and then Very to see well it written known. out, I'm like, oh okay. What are some other ones he mispronounces? Uh, God, I know. So I think I had a list at one point. I know it's so upsetting. He says Washington. Yeah, a lot of people do. Uh, yeah, but he actually miss like pronounces a lot of names. Oh, here names we go. are one oh. name like people's names is as what he gets wrong a lot. Yeah. Today's episode is brought to you by Whoop, the personalized digital fitness and health coach. 
monitor your recovery, sleep, training, and health with personalized recommendations and coaching feedback with Whoop. Train smarter, recover faster, sleep better, and now feel healthier with Whoop and their all new Whoop 4.0, the latest, most advanced fitness wearable on the market. I wake up and the first thing I do as I open my Whoop app and I see how I slept. I see how much time I spent in bed. I see what the variables are, that I have good REM sleep, good deep sleep, how much time I actually slept. I feel like it informs exactly how I'm gonna feel that day. I look at my recovery. I know whether I can stress myself uh, with a really hard workout, whether I gotta dial it back. It's all because of Whoop. I love the sleep coach. I love the strain coach. It's all fantastic. The all new waterproof device is free when you go sign up for a Whoop 4.0 membership for any members. If you have six months left of membership on your account, you can upgrade now and get the 4.0 for free. And right now, Whoop is offering 15% off when you use the code MOM at checkout. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com. Enter M-O-M at checkout to save 15% off. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Manscaped. Gentlemen, the holidays came early because Manscaped, the leading men's hygiene brand, has launched new products, all new ultra premium body wash and two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. It's time to give yourself the gift of beautiful skin, hair, and balls this holiday season. I guarantee your hygiene routine will never be the same. Go to manscaped.com slash mom for 20% off plus free shipping. Make sure you're feeling and smelling prepared for a little action under the mistletoe. Uh, if you have, what, dry, ashy skin, well, you're in luck. Manscaped's new products include the Ultra Premium Body Wash. This 16-ounce aluminum bottle with a pump top is infused with aloe vera and sea salt to keep your skin feeling fresh, clean, and moisturized. They have so many great products. I've never been disappointed by anything from Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash mom. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com slash mom. Clean up your candy cane this year with Manscaped. Yeah. Can I tell you what happened to me? Yeah. I went to the pharmacy to get my subscription filled. <laughs> yeah. And the fucking pharmacist, bro, the pharmacist walks up to the, you know, there's that stupid plastic, what a plexiglass yeah. shit. And I noticed she's got a mask on, but her mouth, there's a hole cut in the there's a fucking hole cut out like it's a cloth mask and there's a hole where her mouth is and i'm like doesn't like are you protesting the yeah mask? what is that is what are that? you doing like then just don't wear it you, she had to have known right she's a medical yeah. person and you don't know that was the fucking most bizarro thing i've ever seen that is definitely I mean, that's obviously deliberate you know what you're doing you know what you're doing it's, you think she's better like what i have a mask on yeah, yeah. You think it's like the employer telling her that she has to wear a mask and she's like, I will, but fuck you, I'm gonna do it my way. You know, like, yeah. that was so fucking weird. I've never seen that before. Hmm. I know. It's, uh, I mean, I've seen people, have you seen someone get berated on a plane yet? For not wearing it? Yeah. No, I'd like to though. I've seen somebody, they've just aggressively reminded. <laughs> What do you mean? Because flights, they still take it pretty seriously. Sure. No, just somebody um, being like, mask? You need to wear your, like, I've heard of the flight <laughs> attendant be like, yeah, you're not eating right now, so you need to put your mask like that. Oh, gosh. Like, yeah. I don't like that. Um, I don't know. I kind of like them on planes because you're like, that's where you get sick all the time is inhaling people's disgusting cold all the time. juices. So I'm not so opposed, but it's so gross. After hours of sitting on a plane, like, your mouth already tastes like dog shit. Yeah, I know. And then you get off and you're just been breathing in your own. And you got to have them on in the airport. Like that. That's Ugh. the best thing is getting outside. That I airport. know. Like, oh, fuck. No. You want to see some wild shit. We've Always. Been, we've been visiting oh, yeah. this theme time and again. It's Look the name at of the show. Wild shit. You can't touch me. I can't touch you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's laughing. Good boy. 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 I've seen this guy that we've pulled these videos. I before. know. I know. The fucking thing smacks that milkshake. He's the, like the liger. It's nuts, dude. That thing looks so strong. It is. It's not just an illusion. No. Yeah. It's all muscle, dude. It's just muscle with fur. It's such an insane thing to Fuck, I'd hate to have this thing as a pet. Oh my God. Where is this thing sleeping, shitting, 
Look at those eyes, too. Just death, death daggers. Do you think he sleeps with this thing on his bed? I don't know. It definitely He's protects like, him. Night, like night, that's, Lager. That's his daddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He I mean, must. that's SWAT to, if that would have been the guy's arm. Let me see it again. Bye bye, arm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. You can't look at me. I can't touch you. Listen. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Dude, look at the paw. The paw yeah. is bigger than that guy's like leg. Yeah. Yeah. That's really You're insane. Fucking idiot. That is gnarly. Shit. Fucking A man. Does it this thing shit in his backyard? I don't know. I don't know how Where is you this? maintain <laughs> this. Shitting. I don't know how you maintain this. Does he put down newspaper? Is there a crate? Like, I what is so. he doing? I don't know. This looks like it's, I'm sure it's probably like a fucking Dubai or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. They just shit out in the desert. Well, he's just like, I have eight Ferraris. I don't know what else to do. That's what Mike Tyson did, you know? He was like, eh, Tiger. I have a lot of cars. <laughs> is that what it is? You have so much money, you yeah. just don't know what to spend it on what anymore? I, like, what's, what do I get the dopamine rush from now? Yeah. yeah. I think you're Wild right. Wild animal. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say that's the last thing I would ever bring into the house. I am not interested in wild animals. That's good. <laughs> that's good. My pussy does not ever stink. Oh my god! <laughs> well, I, it don't. I mean, really? Well, we're not really gonna have this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> well, good for her. Yeah. And she's old. She's been around a lot. Yeah. She says, I'm, that's cool. Pussy doesn't stink. There are stinky ones. There are stinky ones. Yeah. My pussy doesn't stink that No. Much. Yeah, only if I'm working out and, you know. There are just like these stinky pussies that are out there. <laughs> Is that true? Yes. Just some women just have a natural. I, th I mean, it's all stronger. like your in, interior, you know, internal chemical balance. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah. And then there's ones where you're like, you know, I've been putting my nose in this thing for a while and I don't smell a thing. Do you think that vaginas are like dad mouths where when they get older, like, you know, dad mouths just stink over time. Yeah. You're rotting in there. And it's only men I've noticed that their mouths get real stinky. How come women, I've not smelled a dad, a mom mouth. I think it's more neglect. <laughs> I do. Yeah, I think it's more neglect. <laughs> Like they just like meth heads. They don't just in general. It goes. You know what it goes to. It goes to like little things. Like sometimes you'll be like, you've said to me, oh, like you you haven't uh, looked at the look at your eyebrow hairs or like look at that thing on your face. I'm like, what? And you go, don't you look at your face? And I'm mm -hmm. like, no, not really. Like I pass by a mirror, sure, but like, so I think what I'm, my point is that like a woman, most women really spend time like examining themselves hygiene and what well, no that the examining yourself leads into hygiene mm -hmm. men's level of even looking at ourselves like we don't put on makeup that's probably know. why like i don't shave you know I, I shave like just like little parts of my face you shave your eyes out of your head <laughs> yeah that's but it the beard so doesn't grow past your eyeballs so when you're when you're at that level of like <sighs> neglect yeah so you miss things you know and then I think if we actually paid attention to our, I bet you guys that like really maintain their looks mm -hmm. also have great dental hygiene. Definitely. You know, my dental hygiene is fair. Like I, I floss, I brush. You do brush. But I don't go like, I'm not like super on top of it. Well, I mean, if, I go to the dentist, you if, know. If you and I weren't together. Yeah. You probably would neglect your dental hygiene a lot more. I'd probably neglect a lot of things. Yeah. You would just be a dog. We talked yeah. about this, yeah. Like on our anniversary, like you would just probably be a weird alone guy. You wag, yeah, definitely. You think so? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> like, I, I'd like to think that you would date a lot, but I don't think so. I don't. You don't seem like the type to put out energy at getting girls. Mm. No, I'm serious. No, I think you're probably probably right. Because do you remember when we were courting, we were dating, and I was like, hey, Tom, are you going to go to this party? I'm going to be there. And that was kind of like a, 
hey, I like you, sh- you know, shithead, come to this party. And then you didn't show up to the party. And I was like, hey, why weren't you there? And you're like, oh, I fell asleep on my couch. <laughs> and I didn't go. And I believed you. I was like, well, I, I, that sounds like you. Yeah. Like you'd rather sleep than go and get laid that night. I remember one time this girl came, uh, she saw me perform somewhere. And uh, man, I, I mean, I was so new. But afterwards she was like, do you want to come over? <clears throat> and I was like, Man, I'm fucking hungry right now. <laughs> and uh, I was like, um, maybe Oof. later. Yeah. And then the next day she was like, do you, do you not find me attractive? <laughs> and I was like, what? She goes like, you don't find me attractive? I go, oh, no, I do. It was actually that night. Sorry, it was later that night. She goes, oh, well, like I was offering you to come over. And I was yeah, like, dumb. oh, but I was just like super hungry. <laughs> so I went and I got a burger. Yeah. She was like, oh. Yeah. I was like, but I still think you're pretty hot. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was eating. Yeah. Yeah. I sensed that about you, which is why I kept encouraging you to, you know, come on. Let's go out. Let's have some fun. Yeah. I probably would be like a weird guy, right? Yeah. Like, I think a girl would really have to make it abundantly clear like hey i'm int- i like you and then you'll be like yeah I, but you're also very selective i don't see you just you no know. i wouldn't be a hoe i wouldn't be a hoe yeah i really wouldn't no i don't I see mean, that i joke about it but i really i don't think i would i also just don't see you liking many people in the world you're very um <laughs> particular i'm serious like yeah. you're especially with women i think you you and I work because there's a particular a particular alchemy yeah. at hand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work with that many people. No. I mean, I can only no. think of a few people that I really liked. I know. And I'm saying like over the course of my life, like like found, of course, women attractive, but I'm saying that I go like, I really, really like this person. I know. I think that it's like three. I, I That's what I'm telling you. Maybe four. Yeah. No, maybe seven, maybe 20. No, no. That's like who you stick it in. I'm talking about who you really <laughs> like, like really like connect, you know? It's a very low number. Well, I think because um, you're a very bright guy mm-hmm. and you need somebody who's a little mentally challenging, not mentally challenged, which is what I am too, but somebody who's a little, you know. A little like. A little s- Hello, this is Captain Marcel. My sister went down. I'm going down to the mountain. Yeah. Yes, yeah. God, I miss her. No, there has to be, you're right. There has to be intellectual stimulation. Sure. Right? You have to be able to have lots of conversations, long time. For a lifetime. Yeah. You have to be emotionally stimulated, physically stimulated. It's a lot of things. It is. It's crazy when somebody like is like, oh, no, I don't think about this stuff. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. It's just to him dating now for a while. Just I'm hot. Like, yeah. Like, well, That's it. It's like Leo, Leonardo DiCaprio like sure. requires minimal connection. Maybe he thinks like maybe guys like that think of it as like I don't want anything but like but the physical stuff. Yeah. And yeah. And maybe that's why it only like it, you, he's just on a rotation cuz that gets boring like after a while so he's like oh he's got to get a new one. Yeah, the physical stuff. Yeah. And you just need the physical to, is is exciting and then in the beginning and then yeah. it tapers yeah. Off, unless you're us. Yeah. And then we get better, better looking naked mm-hmm. every year. <laughs> That's the good thing about being in a dog shit shape when you're young. <laughs> See, all of my skinny friends, like my high school friends, they're all skinny. They're yeah. all fat fucking. Sure. Like they just like look like shit. Mm-hmm. But I looked like shit early. <laughs> so I can keep getting better. Yeah, that's it's true. Pretty exciting. So lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on a decline. What can you do? I had a good run. I'm not on decline. Yeah, I mean, I'm not 20 anymore. It's right. okay though. I'm fine. I've had two kids. Fuck shit up down there. <laughs> well, I'll tell you because I weigh the same that I did when we lived in Silver Lake, but it doesn't carry the same. It doesn't look the same. Yeah. You know. Right. You're just like that's weird. No. I like it, but I like I like how I look naked. It's just you can't compare yourself to your younger self. No. You just can't. You have to forget. That's just life. Yeah, man. Damn. Mm. Yeah. 
<laughs> what was that? No, I just, mm. I mean, all of us, um, it's weird to not accept aging too. I heard a thing one time was said basically you should try to to look the best you can for your age. Yeah. And that's like a reasonable thought, right? So you go like, you shouldn't try to look 21 yeah. at 41. Yeah. Because it's fucking, you'll, you'll never reach it. But you can try to be the best 41 you can be, you know? For sure. Like, and then, and you should, and those standards will, at 51 will change again. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You just got to fight the fight. You got to stay in the fight. Yeah. You can't just throw in the towel and be like, fuck it. You have to try yeah. to look decent. That's, yeah, care. Care. Give a shit. Just give a shit, dude. Start getting better clothes. Better clothes. <laughs> that helps a lot. It really does. The older you get, like now you can, like when you're in your 40s and you're getting your 50s, you can like dress like a distinguished person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It's so true. It's so true. Yeah. Now that I buy like nicer things, it's just they fit better, they last yeah. longer, and they make your body look better. Yeah. Because when you're 20, you can just put on a fucking you know pillowcase and you look hot yeah but not well, there's not a reason like age. men too especially like an older man every guy looks good in a suit every guy yeah that's true suits fix a lot they really do yeah. fitted suits suits that fit you properly <laughs> get a tailor get a fucking tailor tailor also for jeans yeah that's so true people think that like you you don't have to have them custom made but you can have a a tailor just taper the pants mm -hmm. the hem the whatever and all of a sudden, it looks like they were made for you. I know. So important. Not a lot. It doesn't cost a lot. No, 10 bucks. You can yeah. go down to the dry cleaner, and yeah. they can just pin yep. something for you. Pretty good. I know. Just fit. Make your clothes fit. Make it fit. Um, Make your jeans fit like uh, the jeans they are. Did I, I tell you this story? I don't think I told you this. I was trick-or-treating with the boys mm -hmm. on hollow jeans, and I was Cruella DeVille. Mm -hmm. And uh, we go up to a, the neighbor's you know, trick or treat yard, whatever the fuck. And uh, the guy goes, oh, I like your costume. And I go, oh, thanks. I just got it on Amazon. And he goes, no Amazon, no Amazon. And I was like, okay, um, Target. I got it at Target. Is that okay? And he was like, yeah, Target's fine. No Amazon. They're evil. And I was like, all right, dude. That's always interesting to meet that person. I know. The person who's going to take down, you know. Like Bezos? The whatever is the most popular thing in the world. It's like, <laughs> I don't support McDonald's. Like, okay. okay. Go for it's it. Good. They don't care. Yeah. They don't care that you don't. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I don't do Apple products. <laughs> like, it's good. Oh, I know. Okay. Yeah. It's your thing. I get it. Yeah, I would go to, I would go to the Apple store, but I don't want to deal with the fucking hour wait. I know. Sir. Okay. Well, and like the disorganized chaos of like, oh yeah, somebody will just come for you whenever they're ready. It's like, just give me a line. Can, is there a line? Yeah. There's no there's no order. Their store's terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. It's, it's a the horrible worst. experience. It's a horrible experience. And it's always and I, crowded. I love their products. I've been a loyal customer. Same. It is the worst experience. Yeah. Is to sh go into an Apple store. Yeah. It is absolutely chaos. It's worse than the DMV. It is. I mean, it is just a fucking the the arrogance, the smug fucking arrogance of that company and their employees, the way their their shitty little fucking grins. I know. When you ask them any, have are, did you make an appointment to ask me a question? Hey, fuckhead. I know. Just answer the goddamn question. Well, stand at this table and someone oh, will come over. Maybe, yeah. yeah. When will someone come over? Yeah. Whenever. It's like, no, 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 don't. I have anxiety. Don't do that. Just stand here and wait for somebody. What are you doing? What are you doing? What And what a horrible fucking policy and it's like you can only do it because you're that popular, yeah. which I get it. And like maybe one day they will not. I don't know. Maybe I don't know if it's in our lifetime. But like you have to have such demand for that you your, can be that flippant that, yeah, with the public. It, they're just the worst. They don't care. I agree. Their customer service is absolute dog but shit. But I still go like, yeah, I bought the fucking laptop, the phone. But you know what I do? Yeah. I won't go into the store. Sometimes you just feel like you have to or like you just... That's the worst is when there's like somebody go, like stand there like, hey, can I help you? And you're like, yeah, like um, so I'm having trouble with uh, like connecting. Like a basic thing, like these um, AirPods don't connect. Yeah, so um, let, me, let me get your name. Like, well, do you know how it works? <sighs> yeah, just like, help me. Is there me. a thing I can do? And they're like, you, you, I don't work it. Someone will come over and you're like, you're just drawing this out. 
Like yeah. you know the answer. Just fucking say the answer, man. I know. Like there should be just be a line, like a service line. Can I get a charger for this thing? And they're like, um, uh, so I'm gonna uh, uh, Raven will come over yeah. in a little while. <laughs> talk nice. to you. Yeah. You know what? Too okay. is I'll tell you what I do with my what phone. A nightmare. I put this ugly otter box on there. It's yeah. like a super mom thing. So that if I drop it yeah. or in water, yeah, and then and then I buy on Amazon my sorry Target. On my own thing, I buy the cover, the glass yeah. cover, and I put it on myself just so that I don't break this and have to go to the Apple store. Yeah. That's, this is the lengths I take to A not go to the Apple store. fucking nightmare. Cunts. Yeah. The DMV is better, especially here in Texas. I had a delightful time getting my ID. Small town DMVs Fine. are the shit. This is not small town, but small town ones are the shit. Yeah, for sure. The best one is in Vero. We go oh, there. I bet. You just or walk two in. Two people. And someone's like, help you? <laughs> like a hardware store and you're like i need my registration and they're like all right you walk up take care of it in like 10 minutes easy peasy easy yeah lemon squeezy you know what else i don't like mm. self checkout oh yeah first of all the transaction never goes smoothly because mm. i always trip up the thing it's like you need to ask the attendant for help why yeah or it'll be like put the item in the baggage area i'm like it's fucking there yeah. Why does it not sense that the f I'm not stealing? Yeah, I always feel like I'm on being watched for being dishonest you or are. something, and I'm like, but I'm yeah, I'm not being dishonest. I just I tripped up the thing. You know what I like to do in those places is you oh, go I like, hate it. hey, did this thing go through? And they'll be like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. You know, one time I was here, and I took a bunch of stuff, <laughs> and it none of it um, the code didn't read, so I just left with it. I just left <laughs> with a bunch of stuff, and they're like, what? I'm like, I stole a bunch of stuff from you before. <laughs> You did that. Yeah, I've stolen, I've stolen a <laughs> bunch of things from you guys. Uh, okay, sir. Yeah. You ever do, you ever tell people that you stole from them? No. Yeah, I do that. You do? Yeah. And how does that go for you? They're like, okay. Um, there's a lot of times they shut down. You know. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'm like, why are you telling me this yeah. now? I did that to a lady one time. I was like, oh, you know, I've I've stolen the jewelry from here before. <laughs> and she was like, okay. <laughs> she kind of looked around. I was like, yeah, I just like to steal. <laughs> Can you imagine stealing in this day and age? It's got to be so hard you know, with all the cameras. But it's still done in crazy amounts. I know. How? How? I don't know. I ask this a lot of times, too. I'll go to uh, like in a department store or something. I'll be like, how? As I'm talking to like a mm -hmm. salesperson, I'm like, how prevalent is stealing? They're like, like, it is a major, major issue still. Yeah. I know. And then. And I, there's sensors on things. I know. That's what I'm saying. I asked that at like a designer store and they're like, yeah, it still gets done here all the time. And you're like, but you have to like unlock things. I know. Well, when I worked um, in real retail, I worked in a few retail stores. You know what a pain in the every item you have to take off the magnet. Sometimes they have the ink ones that'll explode if you try to take them off yourself and it'll ruin the garment. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. One time when I worked on Melrose, I worked at a, a retail store. There was a guy that would come park his car because we were right on the corner and then he would jerk off every single day and look at us in the cashier area. It's fucking so hot. Okay. I know. And I would, we'd call the police every day, same time, the guy would come and jerk off. But it was LA. I mean, no one gives a shit. Yeah. It's also, you got to applaud someone that can get an erection and perform in that kind of a situation. Oh, and it was Melrose and... Rad Redford. It was like right where the Aardvarks was. Yeah, but like to, to be able to perform traffic. is a big deal. Yeah, you know, in that situation, a lot of stress, mm -hmm. high stress situation. Can you get an erection right now? Can you? But that's what gives him the erection I is know. the stress, which doesn't make sense at all. I mean, can we just take a moment to? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. I know. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, what uh, Rocco when I, when he was at that taping the hero, all the time. Yeah, yeah your hero. He was with another guy who was like a, a porn director mm -hmm. and they were, he was talking about how great of a performer Rocco is. Mm. And he goes, he's like, yes, you know, it, it's, it, it's 10 degrees outside, but we have to shoot the scene. Oh. And he's like, I don't take a pill, nothing. Oh. And, the, and the guy was like, it's true. He's amazing. <laughs> he's amazing. 
<laughs> like it's Shakespeare. Yeah, like he's it's like, so important. It's yeah. too hot. It's cold. <laughs> it's an uncomfortable. He's like, Rocco's always ready. And we were like, wow, man, that is really cool. That is, but yeah. he is one of the greats. He's if one of the greats. Wa- yeah. Watch his work. And now he's, what, in his 60s? I don't know if he's in his 60s, but well, he's, he's close. He's probably yeah. close. Yeah. I mean, listen, Rocco Sofredi is a fantastic porn star. He's one of the greats. 57. 57 yeah. years old. And this guy's still, guy is still, still out there. Stuff in box, stepping on necks, choking girls out. Yeah. But it's, isn't that why? I mean, but look, but but listen, there's a parallel to stand up comedy too. Yeah, yeah. Stand up everybody can be funny. Yeah. Everybody is capable of being funny in the comfort of their own home, office. It's the difference. The difference is you're funny on command. Two, time, two hours a night in every city and you and your wife just got into a fight yep. and your your dog is going to die in a week because yep. he has cancer yep. and you fucking go out there and you still do it. That's the difference. It actually, you make a great point. It, it, it is, and people ask me the most, they go, they'll be like, I'm funny or like my friend's funny. Yeah, everybody's friend is funny. No, but they go, yeah. you know, how does he make it? And we go, well, that's the difference. Maybe he's only funny off stage. Yeah. Maybe he's funny on stage too. You have, that's what you have to try it. But there's a huge difference between funny at dinner and funny on stage. Yeah, I think people don't realize that. To be a professional yeah. comedian, it, the word professional yeah. means you have to overcome all these obstacles right. and to do it on command when you don't feel like it. And um, the sex worker, that's what they essentially are. Yeah. You know, that's the thing is that they're, they're I don't even know what they're like per, uh, in their personal lives, but no, like professionally no. it's like, there's a lights and there's cameras and there's a stranger and then you know you have to have and the smells the smells and the fucking i always think about when the girls have their periods too yeah. you know you're bloated maybe you don't feel like being naked and you still got to show up you have cramps and you just put something you know you plug up the oh you yeah i would cancel I'd be like i can't work today yeah you're naked on your period getting fucked mm. that's the worst i mean i can barely tell jokes in tight slacks that yeah. night and this poor butt bitch has to get railed yeah i always think about too it's like that's these guys these porn guys where i'm like do you ever like just not feel like it (laughs) yeah you know what i mean you're like yeah it's exciting and if i get it but you're like do you have your day where you're like i don't well you've had diarrhea all day like that guy yeah yeah and you're like i still have to fuck yeah i know what if you're just not into the person that's a real thing yeah what if you're repulsed by them and you're like i don't want to fuck them well i was it uh, i watched one of those like uh hbo things where they asked the guy that and he was like yeah you have to take your mind somewhere else you know (sighs) start thinking about someone who does do it for you yeah that's rough gosh because i've even you know you just i can't i have a hard time being just in a room with somebody who i really really don't like yeah i can't fake it you know me you're, yeah. you're always like could you just pretend yeah to not hate that person i'm like yeah i don't I fucking hate them yeah it's so bad this thanksgiving be thankful for family food and free bets that's right DraftKings sportsbook and official sports betting partner of the nfl has a turkey day no-brainer you can't miss new customers can bet just one dollar on any thanksgiving nfl game and win 100 dollars in free bets if either team scores a point if sportsbook isn't available in your state yet you can still get in on the thanksgiving nfl action make your first deposit and you can play free for millions with DraftKings daily fantasy football contest DraftKings is safe secure and reliable best of all you can deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. Use promo code MOM. Bet just $1 on any Thanksgiving NFL game and win $100 in free bets if either team scores a point. That's promo code MOM. This Thanksgiving at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Must be 21 or older. New Jersey, Indiana, or PA only. New customers only. Restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook. For details, gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. No workout is one size fits all. FitBod creates a fitness program that continually adapts to you. So you stay challenged with new exercises, pacing, and intensity based on where you are and where you want to be. It's so fantastic. You can customize um, your, you can change your goals, you know, because your body changes as you go along. And FitBod is just fantastic for that. The app has clear, easy to follow instructions. And I like how it balances muscle groups so you know, you know, so, so you know you're fully recovered for the next workout. Fitbod creates a program based on your unique body experience and environment. Their algorithm uses data and analytics to help you build on your last workout to maximize 
your results. It integrates with other fitness and health apps like Apple Health, Fitbit, and Strava. Pick up the pace on your fitness journey with FitBod today, and your future self will thank you. Get 25% off your membership at fitbod.me slash mom. That's 25% off at fitbod.me slash mom. Okay, I'll show you something else. Yeah, that's a... A little more fun, ready? cool sport you know what i love about this this is what they do in like yeah shitty countries <laughs> where there's nothing else going on he's like, like i'll stand between these cars <laughs> and you guys just go as fast as you can towards yeah me. it's like yeah it, Let's see if i can take it this is what they do like in the ukraine for yeah. fun there's nothing going on no, he's yeah, back see? Look up, look. he's like look what i did like what i did to these cars <laughs> He's got some bruises. He's a big fuck. Yeah. Yeah. The strongest guy in Kazakhstan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's so terrible. He's never cried ever. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> he doesn't access emotions. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. This is awesome. Yeah. Big fan. Wow. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. That was really impressive. Thank you for showing that to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. it's so dumb. One of the dumbest things I've seen. I like it. Yeah. I like I heard it. Was oh, me. it's my favorite time. <laughs> Bitch, here I go. Bitch, here I go. Last week there was some... <sighs> Bitch, here I go. Oh, man. You really liked that. I thought you liked the bookshelving guy. I did. There were some other ones I didn't like, but we'll see what <laughs> you did this week. <laughs> Uh, Women don't love you guys. I'm just let you know. This is how it works. They receive love. We give love. They don't return it back. They do us favors. And then guess what? They're off back shopping. They all back trying to have it all. They off back at their career. You're just there to just fill a little bit of time in the void. And then she's on to the next dude. What okay. do you think? I think he's very hurt. Yeah. I think he's had some bad do you think, you, know, you think women are capable of giving love? I think so. <laughs> But it's funny yeah. when it, when people give advice like this, you realize that they're always just ca talking from their experience. Yeah, know? they're just talking into the void, into their own yeah. mind. I mean, if if this guy kept talking, if somebody was like listening and prompting the next question, he would end up in tears. No. Yeah. Sad. Yeah. I just think it's pretty funny though. When like women don't have feelings, mm. they just want yeah. to shop, yeah. and you're like, that's that's not your it. that's your experience. Yeah. Like that's who he's dating. Yeah, you're dating shitty ladies. Yeah. She don't love you. That's cool. It's cool and not cool at the same time. Because <laughs> I, oh man. They really do this stuff. I know. These are a, Chinese monks. Uh, fucking A, man. What the fuck are you doing putting weights on your junk? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Why? What is this supposed to achieve? Zen, peace. That How is that peace? I don't, you, you're over, okay, the whole, the point is to, re, okay, you're, you're remaining equanimous, equanimous, mm -hmm. equanimous through suffering. That's life. You want to keep your equilibrium mm -hmm. when life is rough. It doesn't get any rougher than... Weights on your junk. <laughs> you can stay chill during this. You can handle anything in life. Good point. I think that's the point, right? I mean, I don't know, but I like the way where you went with it. <laughs> I don't know. I just made it up. Oh, There's boy. another guy, continuation from last week. This guy tried it out now. Yeah. It's a cool guy trend. It's just the cool guys are all doing this right now on the talk. Wow. So you're seeing this a lot? Uh-huh. One cool guy started it, and now the other cool guys get on board. They all like it. What if it was going to hit him up? It's funny when you see, uh, yeah, I like, I like looking at guys like this, their handle, you know? Mm -hmm. 1946 Tony Walton. Were you born in 1946? 
Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> Talk to me. Do you think that how many women out there would be like, nice work? <laughs> I'd like to see what that's all like. All of them. Yeah. All of them. He's getting all the cool chicks. That sauce does look good though. I'd eat that sauce. You know, maybe Top Dog has a point. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Here's the deal though, that sauce looks so good, it can make anything taste good. That should probably taste really good with that sauce. That you couldn't get you couldn't get me to. <laughs> Oof. Come on. Yeah. How much? How much to eat one of those? Yeah, dog. Oh, I'll be I'll I'll be reasonable. Yeah. Don't be like a million dollars. No, no, I'll be reasonable. To t- to have one of those? With the sauce. Right. But just one of those. What are they? What are the like worms, grubs, the larvae? Uh, I do it for five. Five hundred? No. Five thousand? Yeah. I'd do it for one thousand. I think. How many would you eat, though? You have to eat five. Mm. five no, I said five. for one. For one. Yeah. Okay, but you have to eat five of them. Why? And I'll why give you five thousand a piece. Twenty-five grand. Okay. I'll do it. All right. All right. I'll you do know it. What to do. Oh, that monkey's grooming him. Is that cute? He has a pet monkey, and the monkey's grooming him. That's cute. You know, I kind of wish we had a monkey just to do that. Can I tell you, like your TikToks, a lot of times give me so much anxiety. <laughs> um. That, like when I see one like this, have. I'm like, uh, and then I'm like, uh, like I breathe after. I'm like, that was nice. <laughs> this is the monkey. Because your fucking Instagram stories mm-hmm. are a ride. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes it's really sad and really fucked up. Thank you. No, it's well, not. Well, I've also been adding a new feature now where I learned how to stitch the videos. Oh, Do you know that what that you, is? When, you, when you're side by side with them? No, Tom. That's duetting, duetting. dummy. Okay. <laughs> With stitching? God, so stupid. What stitching? Stitching is when you play a part of the video and then you have your part after. Oh, okay. So I do that. Now I give my special reactions. You guys can see those in my stories. Very cool. Do it I don't know what you are talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, beautiful. Talking. Talking. I don't know what you're talking about. <笑> That's cool, right? Super rad. <laughs> Fucking awesome. Right? Awesome. Well, I, could, I'm so I, could wa- I could watch this forever. Oh, I like that you, because she first she says it like a total foreigner. And yeah. then he, he's like, no, yeah, no, for people that are just listening, what it is, is <laughs> it's, it's, so a, cool. it's a language coach instructor to somebody, I guess that's Mandarin or can I don't know if it's I'm Mandarin. Not sure which but I, you know, uh, I think it's, I think it's Mandarin. And he's with a student. So he speaks perfect English and Mandarin. And then the student is the one saying it like, you know, all as it says, out of whack or whack. It's whack. whack. Um, but you can tell that there, everybody does this. She's saying English words with an intonation 
an accent that is common if you speak Mandarin, mm. right? Just like if you were to speak Spanish, you you, you, you do it Americanized, you, exactly. Yeah. And then he's like he's giving her tricks based on what he knows she knows to mm -hmm. speak English so properly. He said, "Drop your T's." I don't know. Well, what she was like, you're she was saying like, she was like, about. don't, uh, she was like, about what? Uh, yeah. And he's like, stop it here. And, Is it cool? Yeah. And then jur. He yeah. said, instead of saying your, say jur, what you're talking about. That That's pretty cool. rad. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was interesting. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. These are good ones. I you like, like these. that. Yeah. The educational ones. Yes. Okay. And then it's not so much, not so much <laughs> panic inside, <laughs> not so much sadness inside. You don't like guys with pulmonary failure mm -mm. licking the air and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Well, this one I liked for a few reasons. It's a dad. It's yeah. a dad fart. Yeah. And when he laughed, the fart changed. Yeah, that's cool. Pitch. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I want to make love on the back of a speedboat doing 100 miles an hour with some straps wrapped around me and her so we can't get separated. Mm. But I want to do it with my face between her legs. Timberland wild in these days, man. He's <laughs> That's wilding. Timberland? Yeah. Jeez. You know um, what? I do love his zeal for her. And his voice is awesome. Yeah. That guy has an awesome voice. Yeah. He needs to do voiceover work. And this is, was this on Thursday? Was it horny Thursday? Yeah, so this is the beginning of the weekend. Mm -hmm. And the the talks get so horny. By Thursday it starts, and then by Sunday night we are in a horny frenzy on the talk. Yeah, yeah. That's when all the cool guys come out and do the licking the air stuff. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Baby, like, <laughs> won't you just give me some sugar? Uh... I don't have diabetes, so sugar will be just for right. Give me some sugar. <laughs> he doesn't have diabetes. I didn't like that at all. Of course not. This is horny Saturday night. Like That's like the horniest, right? This is as horny like when as it is. the wheels come off. It's like, because they've had time off work. They've gotten drunk on Friday night. Saturday, they're laying around alone, waiting to get drunk on Saturday night. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's just me and this dick, you know? And then by Sunday, it's just a frenzy. Wow. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> this goes out to all the mommies out there. My queen's above 18. How are we doing this morning? It is Saturday morning in the Ohio area, and it is beautiful out. I want you guys to get your feet on the ground and take off running. Go down, get you a nice hot breakfast, enjoy the day, and have fun. Thank you. You guys are beautiful. Thanks. I love my queens above 18. My kings above 18, you take care of them queens today. I love you guys. Have a good day. What? <laughs> what do you notice about this particular talk? Different. <laughs> <laughs> but specifically... What do you notice? Um, you can't see his face. <laughs> I normally at just, all. Yeah, that's so dark. I usually like I don't really listen to the King's whole thing because it's the same stuff over and over. Yeah, like he'll make talks specifically for me, and I'll just be like, no, I don't want to hear this anymore. Yeah. But this one piqued my interest because it's fully black. Yeah. And I mean, let's just say his face is. Yeah, you can see the light. No, for somebody listening. It's not a pitch black. It's just that it's so like he didn't take into account that the laying down and at this angle, no light hits his face. No light. No light. No light. No. And let's make some videos. I want to see them. I want to laugh. Yeah. And I mean, he's done enough of these to know that lighting and sound are important. There's a train that goes by in the BG. Yeah. And I mean, babe, it's so dark. You think? I mean. <laughs> okay. Ready. Yeah. One more. Oh, the finale. Good morning, TikTok, again. Well, I've done a few things this morning so far as I posted earlier. Yeah. I went uh, about five miles run this morning. Wow. I went to Walmart to buy some things, 100 bucks. 
Uh, came home. Okay. Uh, went to the car wash. Oh, wow. Washed my truck. Now I came home. I cut my tree. Wow. Got most of it, but not all of it. There's some pieces I can't pick up. Need can't a helper. Yeah. Uh, now I'm going to go uh, to buy me a new phone because my phone keeps reconnecting on WhatsApp. It just keeps reconnecting, reconnecting. And I think I'm going to get a new phone. So I'm going to head out to get a new phone. So here's my outfit for today. It's cool, but you know me, I love shorts. Short, short, shorts all the time. Ugh. So be blessed. Have a great day. Make it awesome. See you later. Bye. That was, God. Listen, that guy does way too much for a Saturday. I mean, yeah, relax. To take but it, also, such an inspiration to Chris Larson, I think, too. <laughs> Most importantly, yeah. I think we know what the theme is for the next. And we need Chris in video. shorts. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Larson has to wear shorts next. <laughs> Even if it's cool outside, I like to wear him in shorts. And he's got and t- his he's loafers. Got to talk about how much he likes. And you know me, I like my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we have to have Chris run down what he's done that day. What he's done that day. And then he's like, and he has to end it with like, uh, you know me, I, I love wearing shorts. <laughs> Here's my outfit. And he backs up and shows you his fucking stupid outfit. <laughs> He bless his heart though, Tom. Yeah. He is so sweet. And this guy is so consistent with his talks. He is. And let me tell you, he does look better from when he started because he's been working out consistently and he's been dieting and he yeah. posts all of his workouts yeah. and I'm real proud of him. I'm proud of him too. And I'm proud of how productive he is on his Saturday. <sighs> Jesus Christ. He's like, I could try to cut up all the tree, but I'm gonna need a helper yeah, for that. I'm get all of it. <laughs> okay. That's um, a lot of shit to do, and he's not young. Um, too much shit to do on a Saturday. What are you doing? I don't know. Let's wrap this up. Oh, geez. Okay. I love um, you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy TG to you too. It's, it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. It is. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And what are you thankful for? Uh, nothing. And then... I don't give a fuck about shit. <laughs> Fucking A, man. You're a real and, Scrooge McDuck. And you I, know? I'm not thankful for anything. And... Um, well, I'm thankful for you and for Studio Jeans and for the Booth Boys and for this beautiful Guantanamo Bay. I'm glad one of us is. My God. You are unbelievable. <laughs> okay, no. Well, I'm thankful for all that stuff too. It's um. Sounds real sincere, Tom. Huh? I am. I am thankful for all of it and... um. I'm going to get some coffee now. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Um, Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Fam. Closing song is called Waspuses <laughs> by uh, Stoner Stag. Wasp.
Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.